Well, Unreal Engine 5 is beautiful, and the GTX 1060, this is the 6 gigabyte version, is old. And as you can see, running this at 1080p, this is a native 1080p, by the way, and with all the settings at the defaults that this demo runs in. By the way, this is the city sample project demo, which is the assets of the city from the Matrix Awakens demo that was released on consoles, but isn't exactly the Matrix Awakens demo. Anyway, the point is with the default settings of three, which I think correspond to fairly high, although there is a higher setting, um, this GPU is just not handling it. So no maxing this out at 1080p, and I already tested that when this demo first launched. In this video, we're gonna actually tweak the config file and see if we can get anything playable. Can we at least get to 30 FPS? If we can do that, can we get to 60 FPS? Let's find out, but first, let's see just how bad this is in motion. So it's pretty much like a PowerPoint presentation. Or, well, you know, <laughs> I mean, I can move around. Should we get in a car? Let's, uh, let's get in a car. Can I, can I drive at all? I'm gonna blame the bad driving on the uh, 10 FPS, okay? <laughs> oh, we're getting out on the road. You know, guys, when I was a kid, um, I had a gaming PC, but gaming PC is putting it generously. Wow, I can't even get the camera to go the right way. Anyway. <laughs> I played a lot of games on an outdated PC that certainly shouldn't have been running them, so I know this type of feeling well. <laughs> but let's see if we can at least get back into We're in the single digit FPS range, guys. This is silly. I'm gonna tweak the config file and see what happens. Okay, so I've now, in the config file, edited the resolution scaling to 67%, which is then using the game's temporal super resolution, which looks quite good, although not perfect, to upscale to try to look like a native 1080p image. The main issues we see here are objects in motion. The vehicles and pedestrians moving by certainly look blurrier at these settings. And this is basically 720p upscaled. Now, we could go ahead and see in motion. I mean, it, <laughs> at native 1080p, we drop down to the single digits. Let's see if we can, you know, at least beat that. <laughs> I can at least kind of aim my camera around a little bit. And don't worry, we will try tweaking graphics settings as well. I just thought we'd start with resolution scaling and go from there. I also feel like, you know, this resolution scaling looks good enough that I think we could try even pushing it further. And hey, we're at least maintaining double digit frame rates, guys. That's something at least. Anyway, let's try a 50% resolution scale. Okay, this is 50% resolution scaling, so this is rendering at 540p, and then trying to upscale to look like uh, native 1080p. Honestly, for 540p, this is one of the better 540p's I've ever seen, although the people in motion and the vehicles in motion are very, very obviously not native 1080p. Now, our frame rate is still not at 30 FPS, but remember, we haven't actually turned any graphic settings down, so we still have a lot more that we can play with. But I also want to take a look at this actually in motion and drive the car around a little bit, all of that, just to kind of test out the resolution scaling. You can see in motion we're still dropping much lower as well. Also notice we're still getting that VRAM has been exhausted, uh, little error message up in the top left corner. So that could be a bit of an issue as well. All right, driving around, we're still in the teens. So it seems like we're gonna have to do a lot more than just tweak the, uh, the resolution that we're rendering at here. So I'm gonna go lower some settings in the config file. Okay, so this is still 50% resolution scaling, but now I've also turned all of the config file available graphics settings down to two. They default to three. So if we consider three high, then we'll call two medium maybe. So at 540p medium, we still are less than 30 FPS. It doesn't seem like we gained a whole lot from turning things down to two. Let's go ahead and run around a little bit to see it in motion before we turn things down even further. It looks like we are still 
going down into the teens. You know, graphics-wise, it still looks pretty good, other than in motion, the 540p is very, very obvious, in my opinion. And um, the other settings didn't don't seem to look too much worse here, but yeah, the 540p looks really bad in motion. It looks decent when you're standing still, but yeah, driving around, it's, it's a lot less convincing. Anyway, let's turn some more settings down. Okay, now some good news and some bad news. The good news is we're over 30 FPS. The bad news is we're nowhere near an FPS that I'd actually like to play the game at, but this could at least be playable. Let's see it in motion in a minute. The other bad news is we're at 540p upscaling to 1080p with all of the config file graphics settings at 1. So things are very low now. The um, I think the config file does go all the way down to zero, so we might need to test that before we're done here. But let's see if we can at least hold 30 FPS in motion. And then I'll be interested also in like, you know, could we tweak the settings a bit, optimize them a bit? What's the best playable image quality that we could do? Trade-offs between resolution scaling versus uh, turning certain settings down. Also, we're not getting the out of VRAM message anymore. <laughs> hey, let's let's get into some car wrecks. I'll, I'll even pretend it's on purpose for, for you know testing the collision physics. Okay. Ah! Well, it looks like this is actually playable. So that's interesting. We're gonna try setting things all the way down to zero, and then we'll also try turning some resolution back up. Hey, we did it! We made the game look awful, but we also went over 60 FPS. So this is all the settings turned down to zero. Um, I'd like to try driving a car around, but that must have turned off vehicles. <laughs> uh, we could at least fly. See if we can maintain 60 FPS flying around. Wow, this looks horrible. So to be clear, this is 50% resolution scaling as well as turning all of the available graphic settings to zero. I don't know, you know, how much of that is off versus low, but I imagine it turned off everything it possibly could and still render the game at all. It looks like garbage. <laughs> Although I am curious, um, you know, what this would look like at native 1080p with all the settings down at zero. So maybe that's what we'll test next, and then we'll see about optimizing certain settings uh, to try to hit around 30 FPS with the best graphics that we actually possibly can. Well, this is a really bad sign for the GTX 1060. Um, I understand this is a, uh, you know, a, a tech demo. It's not optimized, it's not a real game. But this is native 1080p with literally everything still at zero. So as we can tell, things look quite bad. Now there's still some impressive stuff in, in the sheer size of this demo. Also look at that frame time graph, that's kind of all over the place. Anyway, we are under the 6 gigabyte VRAM limit here, which is, which is good. But this is native 1080p with all the settings turned down, and we are barely holding 30 FPS here in motion. Things look very shimmery, because I'm pretty sure the anti-aliasing is just off. <laughs> the lighting is just silly, there's no shadows, there's... <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah. Well anyway, this is horrible. So I'm curious, what is going to be our more optimized settings? I think the heaviest setting is global illumination, so I'm going to try turning that down. And then we'll see what happens if we turn things up but keep global illumination down. Okay, so since I know that the global illumination is by far the heaviest effect in this game, also the best looking thing about it, but <laughs> it, that's the lumen system. I've set it to one. I'm not sure if there's a difference between zero and one. I think either one's basically off and it looks terrible compared to the higher settings. Um, but this is also native 1080p, and I set everything else back to 3. I was just curious if we only focused on tweaking global illumination, 
how close to 30 FPS we could get, because I think 30 FPS is going to be our target for optimization, but it's, it's looking like at least at native, just tweaking the global illumination down is certainly not getting the job done. Man, I think we're, we're gonna have to resolution scale. I think there is no question about that. And I'm not sure, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm not sure what we can do, guys. But we're gonna try resolution scaling a bit and see where that gets us frame rate wise. Cause ooh, wow, I can barely even keep the camera straight at these frame rates. Okay, so all I did now was tweak the resolution scaling to 67%. So basically 720p upscaling to 1080p, everything at three, so high settings except for the global illumination down at one. I was hoping that would give us the headroom to hit 30 FPS. Looks like we're falling short and I'm betting it's gonna be even worse in motion. You can also see that I am uh, ever so slightly over my VRAM limit here, which is a bit of a problem. So we're definitely gonna have to tweak things just a little bit more than this if we're targeting 30 FPS and not uh, overflowing our VRAM. Oh my goodness, I can't even steer. And that may or may not be related to the poor performance. <laughs> anyway, we're clearly not locking 30, which is my goal. So let's try some more stuff. Okay guys, off camera I tried <laughs> gently turning down each setting from 3 to 2 and I basically ended up turning all of them down to 2, except global illumination is still at 1 and we're still at 67% resolution scaling and it pretty much took all of that to keep us under 6 gigabytes of memory, at least in this just sitting here screen, I, I just kept firing it up until we got here, and sitting at 30 FPS. I have a feeling in motion we're still gonna drop below 30 but let's go ahead and test it out. Yeah, a bit below 30, no doubt about that. Again, keep in mind this is certainly an unoptimized tech demo rather than a full release game, so we can hope that full release games uh, do a bit better than this. But at least this is, you know, a sort of playable almost 30 FPS. Looks like we did just briefly surpass our VRAM budget. Wow. Okay, trying to drive. <laughs> uh, I think to do much better than this without just turning everything just so far down that it looks horrible, I think the next thing to do... Whoa! Whoa, that was a nice crash. <laughs> Uh, the next thing to do might be actually just to lower the resolution scaling even further. To me, that looks pretty bad. Wow, things look very flickery with the shadows and things here, don't they? It's kind of... weird. <laughs> anyway... Um, hey, we're, you know, we're, we're pretty close to 30 FPS here. I think we might call this a win. Although I think I will try going down to 50% scaling and take a look at that just just for fun. All right, uh, the shadows are glitching out all over the place at these settings. We're at 540p. Like I said, everything's at two except for global illumination down at one. Things don't look great, but the performance, I think, is going to hold at least for the most part <laughs> over 30 FPS. Let's take a look as we try to drive down our our street here and see how many car accidents I get into. I don't know what's going on with the flickery shadows, guys. That's that's weird. But hey, I, I think we're, oh my god, in a car wreck. But other than that, <laughs> and even during that, I think we were holding 30 FPS and above. So what are my conclusions here? I think in an actually optimized Unreal Engine 5 game, the 1060 is going to be playable at something like these medium settings with the lumen system basically turned off. Things aren't gonna look great, but I think things would at least be playable, might need some resolution scaling. I don't know, guys. Let's hope GPU prices come down for a while, stay down. I think, I think the 1060, as we get into new console games, new generations of consoles that actually have, um, you know, this type of engine in mind, especially once they stop supporting the last gen consoles, I think the 1060 might finally be reaching the end of its lifespan, although 
If you're willing to play games at some pretty low settings and render scale, I think you'll still be able to play them even here on Unreal Engine 5. And this is a very dense city tech demo that's, that's very clearly unoptimized. So let's not panic too hard yet. I hope all of you have an excellent day.